Blocker Outdoors presents Whitetail Frenzy. This week, we're going to follow D. Calgary, the Chili Man, as he takes his A4 KMX crossbow down to Kentucky to see if he can knock down a big buck. And then we're headed back to West Virginia with Elijah Bennett as the rut activity is starting to amp up in the Mountain State. This isn't your average hunting show, and hunting isn't our full-time occupation. We have families, full-time jobs, and face the same struggles as many of you. Months of scouting and preparation for a single short moment in time. That moment when you can't control your breathing and your heart is pounding out of your chest. Whitetail Frenzy is brought to you by Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow, Warner Law Offices, Custard Stand, the world's finest ready-to-eat hot dog chili, Cirrus Wind Indicator, Whitetail Trail Mix. Go to whitetailtrailmix.com to find your closest dealer. Whitetail Frenzy is also brought to you by the following partners. The Chili Man, D. Calger, one of the top contributors here on Whitetail Frenzy, is headed to Kentucky. Let's join him at the lodge as he makes sure that elite bow is dialed in before he heads to the stand. Right, I'm shooting at that fan. Right. A little low left. I'm shooting the same place. All right, 20. 20 and go get her hunting stuff on. What do you think? Uh-oh, I saw something fly. With the Elite Bow dialed in and ready to go, it's time for the Chili Man's first evening set in the Bluegrass State. I'm back here at Ellie May Outfitters. It's my first evening set. And uh, I couldn't be more excited, man. Hey, Darren is getting some pictures of some dandy bucks coming into this food plot, into this stand. They call it the Hickory Stand. As the chili man was watching a flock of turkey blow his stand, he noticed some more birds running across the field, and then to his surprise, there was a buck headed his way. As day one is coming to a close, Let's hope the action heats up once we return, right here on Whitetail Frenzy. Whitetail Frenzy is brought to you by Scent Assassin. Forget the wind, hunt anywhere, anytime. Rambo Bikes and X-Stand Tree Stands. Hatfield McCoy Trails, offering some of the best off-road trail systems on Earth. Covert Scouting Cameras, Lethal Addiction Mineral and Attractant. Whitetail Frenzy is also brought to you by the following partners. We've been in a tree about 30 minutes and it's coming a heck of a storm. He 
kick me nuts with falling off these freaking trees like crazy. Maybe that'll put the deer up on their feet. <laughs> We're going to stick with as long as we can. Turkeys, With two days in the books and no luck, D decided to put down the stick and string, pick up the KMX A4 crossbow, and he wasn't in the stand 30 minutes and had a shooter headed his way. The chili man does it again. We've said it over and over and over for several seasons now. This man is a killer, but this time he took his Camex crossbow to Kentucky and he killed I think a brute. He's a good one, man. Do you see that picture? Yeah. He's a. Uh, it sounded like it hit a drum, and all I did was walk over and look. And the era, it's it's bloody, but it's not super bloody. But me and Jim watched playing footage back, and it looks like good salt. He went right out that way. He went to the right. And he acted to me like he was hurt real bad because he his tail was down and he was kind of humped up right out there. Now Jim said he may have heard him fall, but I'm not sure. Okay, that's what I'm asking. We got to get the air right here. I hit him, but that don't look like real good blood, does it? Or does it? It's all the way on us. Out that way, to the right. He went right out through there. What a buck. That's a big nine. That's the big nine we was looking for. Yeah, that's the one Darren. Darren just had him on camera. We was hunting for this deer. Come on in here, Darren. Okay. I'm telling you, this is an awesome, awesome deer. That's our boy. Wow. He's either this one or the big eight, but I'm glad you got him instead. Right. Well, I knew he was a shooter as soon as he walked in. I grabbed Jim by the knee, and I'm like, right there he is. It's my first buck with the, with the Cam X crossbow. I'm telling you, if you haven't shot a Cam X, get out and shoot one because they are, they're super quiet and they are super accurate. Can't say enough good things about Darren. You know, we've been coming here for a few years. Uh, a couple other buddies of mine uh, introduced me to Darren and uh, he's not just an outfitter to us anymore. He's a, he's a good, good friend. I want to thank Jim Clayton. He tagged up the first day we came and he's actually on the camera for me. So Darren, Man, I appreciate uh, it. Quite welcome. My pleasure. That's my biggest buck to date, guys. I've killed a lot of a lot of bucks, but I believe he's my biggest. Whitetail Frenzy is brought to you by the Omega Sight, the only all-in-one sight rangefinder and video camera. Extreme Cleaner. Camex crossbows, built like no other. 
Blocker Outdoors. Whitetail Frenzy is also brought to you by the following partners. Well, the chili man put down a great buck in the bluegrass state. Now let's hop across the state line over here to West Virginia and join Elijah Bennett and Ricky Shingleton as they're getting ready to set up an X stand tree stand. Uh, Ricky and I got a chance to get out in the woods today. Uh, we're gonna get a stand hung up. I got an absolute giant of a buck. We call him Browse. I've had pictures of him for my heavens. This is the fourth year. Uh, two years ago, I wasn't able to get it done, but. Uh, what you guys see here is an X-Stand Paragon. It's hands down one of the most comfortable tree stands I've set in. Excited to get it up. Let's get this X-Stand hung. Get the quick sticks up, get ready for both seasons two weeks out. While Elijah and Ricky are getting that X-Stand set up, let's fast forward to early November for Elijah's first set. One of the absolute toughest times to hunt whitetail deer here in the mountains of West Virginia is during extreme wind. And during this day, the winds were blowing heavy. I mean, these deer, they live by their noses. And in these mountains, in that heavy wind, it swirls, the wind changes directions. They can't hear. You're taking away their sense of smell. You're taking away their sense of hearing. The deer just do not move very well. And Elijah knew that he wasn't gonna see many deer that day. And he was in for a long set, but he was optimistic because the front's moving through and he knew conditions the next day we're going to be perfect. Oh guys, November 11th, 20 degrees out this morning. Uh, been hunting day after day after day in here. I got a giant tent open this morning. It's calm. We got a good wind and rain coming in tomorrow. It could get interesting, so stick with me. See if I can get it done in here with the red drawer today. Patience, patience, patience. We say it all the time. Elijah has been patiently sitting in the stand day after day, and his patience is finally starting to pay off. He's got a big buck headed his way.
This segment of Whitetail Frenzy is brought to you by Blocker Outdoors. Let me get my bow down here and show you guys. Uh, my arrow actually took a chunk out of my, out of my dropway rest. Um, I'm, I'm pretty frustrated. This has uh, been not two weeks. Uh, get an opportunity to get one of my target blocks. You know, it all falls back on me. So let me get this bow and show you guys what it done. So when it comes to bow hunting, there are a lot of things that can go wrong. And the shot Elijah made on that deer where the arrow impacted the animal, that's not a shot that any of us want to make. And I know a lot of you are gonna ask, well, why would you ever show that? You know, we make mistakes as hunters and we try to show you all the mistakes that we make so that you can learn from those mistakes so that the same thing doesn't happen to you because as hunters we all want to make clean ethical shots and on this hunt elijah the mistake he made it was cold it was rainy he left his bow in the bow case in his truck overnight and his rest froze so when he pulled back and shot the arrow rest didn't drop like it was supposed to well we're going to head around this hillside here and uh, hopefully he's just laying right here. What I what I seen earlier, I swore was him. So follow along, we'll see if we can find him. Well guys, here he is. Uh, I'm more than thankful <clears throat> to get my hands on this buck. Uh, I was a little bit nervous this morning after the, the failure I had of my drop away rest, but uh, fortunately I got it done and uh, this deer only went about 120 yards. It was a really, really poor shot. Um, I, I couldn't be more thankful. This isn't my biggest buck by any means, um, but on this farm particularly, I've got a lot of good genes in here. I've got real nice uh, heavy tall rack bucks and this one here was just uh, low and no tine length, a good three and a half, four year old deer. Um, but hey, this doesn't show the potential that we see elsewhere on the farm. But uh, it's been an interesting two weeks. Uh, I do have a, a giant buck in here, a big old 10 point. Um, filmed him this past Tuesday, but wasn't able to get it done. He was locked down with a doe. but. Uh, Today, last day of vacation, it all came together. I hit the dual grunt tube. This deer came in on a string. He actually made two scrapes on his way in, uh, presented me with the perfect shot, and I couldn't be more thankful right now. I'm blessed to have this opportunity to, to get it done. Well, AD, two more big bucks hit the ground today. You know, our taxidermists, they are not complaining, but most important, our freezers are filling up. Absolutely, but more importantly, the cupboards, they're overflowing with the deer jerky bags. That's absolutely, and we love our deer jerky. Yes, we do. Well, we're only halfway through season six of Whitetail Frenzy. Next week, it's more Whitetail action. We're headed to the Buckeye State with the Silver Fox, Jeff Perry, and then we're taking our kids to the family farm getting our kids out, getting them introduced to hunting. We're not focused on big bucks, none of that. Just having fun and passing down that same tradition that our father passed down to us. Yeah, I, I can't wait. That was I look forward to to that weekend, you know, more than any other weekend once the season started. Yeah, it was fun. And the best part on one of the hunts, you let Colton, your your youngest, run the camera. Yeah, it's it's a two first. You know, <laughs> Bree with the crossbow and Colton with the camera. It's going to be an adventure. Yeah, and then we had my youngest one, four years old, 
out there slinging bolts with the Camex crossbow. So you all don't want to miss it. Between now and then, make sure you all go to the Whitetail Frenzy Facebook page. Give us a like and tune in next week, same time, same place, for some more exciting action right here in Whitetail Frenzy.